Snake bite skill between 81,000 and 138,000 people every year. And around three times as many people lose limbs or have other permanent disabilities because of snake bites. Every year, venomous snakes bite one out of every 37,500 people in the US alone. But have you ever wondered which kind of snake has killed the most humans? Well, you may have guessed it or you may have not. But, the saw-scaled viper may be the deadliest of all snakes, since scientists believe that it has killed more people than all other snakes combined. This makes it the most dangerous snake in the world. Its venom kills less than 10% of untreated victims, but because the snake is so aggressive, it bites early and often. The saw-scaled viper resides in parts of the Middle East and Central Asia, and its bite is very strong and dangerous. This snake, which is also called the carpet viper, with just one bite can kill six people. But, how much venom does a saw-scaled viper have? And how do you treat a bite of this kind? Firstly, why does the bite of the saw-scaled viper hurt so much? The main reason why the bite of a saw-scaled viper is so dangerous is because it is so strong. The amount of venom this snake injects is much less than that of most other venomous snakes. It may even be the least venomous of India's venomous snakes out of the big four. Still, it can kill six people with one bite, which is pretty impressive for such a small snake. Another reason why this viper bite is so dangerous is because of how aggressive it is and how it stands when it is scared. This snake blends in well with its natural surroundings, so it is often found by accident. So, the saw-scaled viper can jump out of its coil and bite quickly and effectively. How much venom does a saw-scaled viper bite have? We've already said that the saw-scaled viper bite only contains a small amount of venom, but how much does it use on average, and how does this compare to other venomous snakes? To put things in perspective, a single bite from a saw-scaled viper can deliver up to 70 milligrams of venom, and the average person only needs 5 milligrams to die. Since this snake's bites contain at least 10 milligrams, even the weakest and least dangerous bite is enough to kill at least two people. Considering how aggressive this snake is in general and where it lives, it is best to leave it alone if you ever see it in the wild. To be fair, this should really be said about all venomous snakes, no matter how strong their venom is. Do saw-scaled vipers bite repeatedly? There isn't much proof that the saw-scaled viper bites more than once when it feels threatened. But given how aggressive saw-scaled vipers are in general, it is very likely that they act this way when they sense a very big threat, or are surprised in any way. The saw-scaled viper, like most other vipers, injects venom into its prey or what it thinks is a threat and then slithers away leaving the animal it bit to die on its own. Since this is how most vipers act, it seems likely that the saw-scaled viper won't bite more than once. But it's hard to say with this species because they are so violent and move quickly. How do saw-scaled vipers act around people? Even though it doesn't have as much venom or as much power as the other big four venomous snakes in India, the saw-scaled viper is very dangerous to humans. This is because this snake can hide and blend in very well in many different kinds of natural environments. Unfortunately, many of these places are close to places where people live in the Middle East and Asia. This puts this viper in dangerous situations with people. The saw-scaled viper wants to be left alone at all times, but it won't be afraid to defend itself if it thinks it's in danger. This snake often moves in a way that lets it strike quickly and with a spring, 
and it also uses the sidewinder technique to move along the ground. This makes the snake very quick and nimble, able to move into and out of trouble quickly and without warning. This is just one of the many reasons why you should never touch a saw-scaled viper. How do you treat a bite from a saw-scaled viper? If you think you've been bitten by a saw-scaled viper, you should go to the hospital right away like you would for any other venomous snake bite. This snake's venom is very strong and can cause a number of bad things to happen to the body, such as bleeding and dehydration. Remember that this snake is one of the big four that cause most snake bites in India, and for good reason. But even with all of this in mind, this snake and its bites don't kill people very often. This is because researchers and snake experts have worked hard to make a number of anti-venins. But you need anti-venom within hours of being bitten to make sure you live and get better. Lastly, if you've enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below and don't forget to like and smash that subscribe button.